Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I asked Pastor Jason to do that when I walked up here on the platform. Yes, sir. But he's always ready, praise the Lord. Amen. So that's good. I want to start uh, we expect to uh, worshiping with our tithes and offerings Amen. instead of just dropping in the box. So we're going to start doing it earlier in the service and we're going to have uh, a word on it uh, a few minutes um, because it's important. It is a part of uh, mm-hmm. of our walk with the Lord. That's right. And that's right. so that's why we give it uh, the place that it needs to have. Hallelujah. We appreciate all of you coming out today. Praise God. Praise God. And thank God for the people who are visiting with us, as well as those of you who are very faithful to come Sunday after Sunday. And I know some of you drive a long way, and we appreciate that. And do not take it lightly. I know you pass a lot of different churches that you could go to along the way, but the Lord has called you here, and you're faithful to be obedient and faithful to what God's called you to. Praise the Lord. Turn with me, if you would, to Matthew, the 15th chapter. I'm going to talk to you a little bit today about divine health, healing, deliverance. Uh, although we teach on this, touch on it most every service, I want to concentrate on it today because I still see a lot of people get sick. So if we are getting sick, then we can handle more teaching. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Praise God. Even even if you don't ever get sick, it's still good to reinforce what you know. Amen? Amen. God wants you well. He wants you 100% whole. And that is correct. They do all the time. Every day. It doesn't matter if the flu is in town or if the dreaded... Uh, Plagues are in town. It doesn't matter. Right. Because you are a Christian. Thank you, Lord. And that means you're different. You don't have to live like the world lives, and you don't have to die like the world dies. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Now, you will graduate on to heaven one day, but you don't have to do it by cancer is what I mean, or some kind of disease. Amen. You can just change earth, change suits, houses. Thank you. Shed this earth suit and be in that heavenly body. Praise the Lord. Praise Lord. Glory yeah. to God. Hallelujah. God is good, isn't he? All the time. All the time. It's exciting to serve the Lord. Amen. And you know, it, it, there's so much to learn that if we will <coughs> study our word and if we'll attend services and be encouraged, then uh, you'll see great victories. From glory to glory, He's changing us. Matthew 15, I'm going to verse 21. Then Jesus went thence and departed into the coast of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with a devil. But he answered her not a word. And his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she cries after us. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Verse 25. Then came she and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. But he answered and said, It is not meet to take the children's bread and to cast it to dogs. And she said, Truth, Lord, yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from the master's table. And Jesus answered and said unto her, O woman, great is thy faith. Be it unto thee, even as thou wilt. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for your word this morning. Thank you, Father God, for revelation knowledge flowing. Mm. Open our eyes to see, our ears to hear what the Holy Spirit is saying by the Word of God this morning, Father. We thank you, Lord God, for this time together to worship you, to love you, and to learn of you. In Jesus' mighty name. Everybody said? Amen. 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 <coughs> I chose this passage because the indication here is that deliverance, health, 
anything that's of the devil, you can be delivered of it as a child of God. And he referred to it actually as the children's bread. Yep. In verse 26. Mm -hmm. It's not me to take the children's bread and to cast it to dogs. Meaning it's for us, the Christian. And in this particular case, he was talking about deliverance from a devil. Praise the Lord. So we'll get into that a little bit more in a moment here, but um, uh, it's important for you to see that this woman's faith prevailed, mm -hmm. and she got what she came for. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Now most of us would have kind of given up along the way there, especially if he called us a dog. <laughs> Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And uh, we would have been hurt and offended and never come back to that church again. <laughs> but this woman pressed through. And she got what she was after. And you're going to have to have that same uh, determination That's right. in this walk of faith. Amen. Because Satan is, uh, is very uh, uh, experienced at what he does. Mm -hmm. And uh, he doesn't come at you in the red suit with horns on top. Nope. Saying, I'm the devil, follow me. That's right. <laughs> it comes through ways that you think are normal <clears throat> and that seem natural, but the world is experiencing. And then convinces you, you have to have it. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. But healing is for the Christian, divine help is for the Christian. It was paid for in our salvation. Hallelujah. God 